Hello humans! I know I'm coming a bit late here, but I was away dying if you excuse me! So let's pretend we're hearing this for first time, and act a bit excited on comments! So the problem with GTK4, or one of the problems anyway, is that we're missing a designer tool which makes quite hard to develop with the toolkit, especially for the new users! Now, for GTK3 we have a tool called Glade, that helps us to visually create UI interfaces together with properties and signals, that later we import on our app with GTK Builder. However Glade isn't very reliable or correct on the XML that produces, and especially when we edit existing UI files it can really mess things up. Yet, it comes handy for newcomers to get know the various widgets and experiment. It is a worth to mention that some developers prefer to hardcode the UI to the code, but in general it is considered a good practice to use declarative XML that we can easily mutate. Even if GTK4 UI isn't exactly like Swift UI at the moment, but eventually we'll get there. And so, since Glade doesn't support GTK4, what we do? Basically we need to manually write the XML, or we can create one on GTK3, and then we can use the GTK Builder tool and say, Simplify, to create the most minimal file. And then convert from GTK3 to GTK4. And finally replace the file, otherwise it will just print on output. And next it's the embarrassing moment when GNOME text editor can't reload the changes, so I will reopen the whole app. Basically the only difference on this particular example is that it now calls the GTK4 instead. And we can also preview the UI with the preview option. And this switch might seem the same, but it now uses the NGL renderer and not Cairo like before. Then again, the truth is that both convert and preview will fail in actual projects, and I very doubt if anyone uses this technique. But we have nothing to worry about, because Kambalacha is coming. What's Kambalacha? At the moment is nothing than a blog post from a Glade contributor saying is working on a new Glade, and if we scroll a bit down we'll see some images how the app looks about. But perhaps the most interesting part is how it can render multiple versions of GTK on the same process, and it success that by using Broadway backend in a GTK webkit. In any case, the developer will talk about it and I guess he will also make the code public available too, in around 2 weeks from now in Gnome Quadic. Meanwhile a few weeks back we had another software event hosted, and we had the announcement of Flutter Flow from two indie developers. Hey Google I.O. I'm Abel. And I'm Alex. A second please to quickly create a new project to show you what's that if you don't know already. And anyway, when I was reading about Kambalacha, Flutter Flow immediately hit me, because it is essentially the same thing. Only around 50,000 times better. Isn't kind of unfair that people can do stuff so much easier in Flutter I'm wondering? And lately I'm seeing many people on this channel praising Flutter, but you should understand something. Flutter is business, GTK is fun, 